Greetings and salutations friends, what is happening? It's your boy Nick Che, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have some very exciting news, but if you're new to the channel, welcome. I make videos about college lifestyle, photography, and film. But today we actually have a tech review. Today we're checking out the Asus ZenBook Pro. A lot of you guys have been asking me what my new laptop has been, and the people over at Asus were kind enough to send me this. First off, we're going over the design, next the features, and finally the usability as a college student. I've been testing this out for a couple of weeks now, and you guys know that my primary driver was the MacBook Pro 15 inch, 20 16 model with the touch bar so switching over to windows trying out my workflow on this computer and using it in my day-to-day -day college life has been super convenient and helpful i know a lot of you guys are graduating soon so if you guys are looking for any graduation gifts then obviously a laptop is a great investment to make before you go into school but i'm gonna stop talking first off we're going to talk about the design this thing is pretty sexy and i don't say that about a lot of laptops because it takes a very specific type of laptop for me to be impressed by and let me tell you guys that i am very impressed by this not only is it great build quality but it's got a beautiful champagne gold accent color and if you know anything about me champagne gold is probably my favorite type of color so it's lining obviously the lettering here but it's also lined all around the sides now as far as everything else about the laptop it is surprisingly very light compared to my macbook pro it's i would say about the same weight to be honest the macbook pro is actually a little bit heavier but it obviously has a case on it right now size dimensions let's just stack these up real quick I mean, honestly, it's pretty comparable. Like I don't see too much of a difference. The only marginal difference that I do see is the slimness of it. Um, obviously the MacBook Pro is way more slimmer, but it's honestly kind of minimal. But if you're holding it in your hands like this, then it is pretty recognizable. All right, next up, let's move over to the screen. Honestly, guys, this screen is beautiful. It's a 4K display, and for any video editors or photo editors, you know how important that is. This is honestly the first time that I've had a 4K display, and I'm honestly loving it because the resolution, the colors are just so crisp, and I have no complaints about that. Especially when I'm rendering 4K videos, it's been super helpful. The screen is also super bright. It's way brighter than my MacBook Pro, and anytime I'm working at night or in some dark places, perfectly well lit, more so than my MacBook Pro, which is very impressive. And the screen resolution is honestly one of the best qualities of this laptop. Okay, and then obviously the last part of the design of it is the build. This is made out of plastic, whereas the MacBook Pro is obviously made out of aluminum. The MacBook is going to be a little bit better to touch, but that doesn't mean that the Asus isn't durable. It seems very reliable, very rugged, and almost like it could take a beating without being too fragile like I would say the MacBook Pro is. Anytime I don't carry this without a case, I get super worried. Next up, we're moving over to the features of it. Obviously, Windows has some great features. That is the reason why a lot of people are moving over. Personally, I've been on the Apple ecosystem for over five to six years now, so I've gotten used to it. I've learned all the ins and outs of it. And a switch over to Windows was a little bit scary for me, but the more I played around with it, the more I got used to it. But literally, the craziest feature that I've seen on this laptop and in any laptop in the past few years in general, really, is this bad boy this right here is a screen pad feature and it's one of the reasons that this laptop is so highly rated because this thing is kind of freaking crazy i've never seen any laptop have a literal touch screen trackpad right here which acts as a secondary display i will go over all the details of what this thing can do but let me tell you that having this and playing around with it for the past few weeks has been kind of game changing and I don't know why computers aren't doing this. It's infinitely times better than the MacBook touch bar. The touch bar is kind of useless to be honest, but this you can actually do you calculations right here. You can check your calendar. You can check whatever you need to all from the convenience of your trackpad. So going into a little bit more details of the screen pad feature, basically it can act as a secondary display. All you need to do is drag one of your windows like you normally would to the bottom and it automatically snaps to that place. If you're using YouTube videos, you can use the trackpad to scroll through it. You can also change the music controls. You can access your calendar calendar and your calculator so if you're doing emails I can just drag it here and then it automatically pops up here and then you can just access it from right here finally the last key feature of the Asus ZenBook Pro is it's a touch screen too if you thought that the features already weren't cool enough this baby can do touch screen as someone who's always been on the MacBook like I said I've never seen a touch screen capability honestly this is my favorite feature I constantly find myself just touching things because it's way faster than to use the mouse finally the, let's talk about the speakers real quick the speakers are Harman Kardon if you know them they're a great audio device company and they make really great speakers so this computer is packed with great sound all the way up to the loudest volume Get it, 
my manager is yelling at me saying I'm gonna get this video demonetized. So that about wraps it up for the features of it. Finally, let's move on to the usability as a college student. Like I mentioned, when you are a college student, you have so many different tasks that you're going to be needing a laptop for, whether it's content creation like myself or note taking. Your laptop has to be able to do all of those at a high performance without losing any quality in any of those areas. So for me personally, this Asus ZenBook Pro has been an absolute game changer. I forgot to mention, but the render speeds on this thing are crazy fast. I've been editing videos on Premiere Pro and then exporting them, and it would say it's almost twice as fast as my MacBook Pro. I haven't done any real tests, but like I said, I've been using it to render my videos over the past few days, and it's been blazing fast. I'm able to do 4K video, no problem. All right, to wrap things up, there are a few things that are missing from this laptop that I do enjoy on my MacBook Pro. Obviously, iMessage is one of them and AirDrop. Those are two pretty important things for me to send messages straight from my computer or to share and download files seamlessly from my iPhone to my computer. They do have an alternative called Asus Sync where you still can get messages on your phone and transfer files, but it's just not as intuitive and easy to use as the Apple ecosystem. If it weren't for those two things, to be honest, I think I would completely switch over to this computer just because, like I said, it's so fast and so usable for all of my needs that there's no reason for me to really use a MacBook Pro, which is relatively slower when it comes to the things that matter to me the most. I will probably keep using my MacBook when it comes to emailing, just surfing the web, watching YouTube videos. But when I do need to get most of my content creation done, I will be switching over to this bad boy. And yeah, guys, that about wraps it up for this review. I know, like I said, you guys are looking for laptops to get, so definitely consider checking this one out. Um, I wasn't paid to say any of this. They just sent it over for me to check out, and I've been super impressed with it. I would definitely recommend it for anyone going into college and looking to get a new laptop. It is pretty comparable in price to the MacBook Pro, so I mean, keep that in mind as you are looking at options. And yeah, guys, that about wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed this tech review. As always, comment down below if you wanna see anything else. Subscribe for more videos, and let's build.